I went to Whole Foods. Let me tell you, they got some good stuff. So everybody knows Whole Foods is the best. I mean, as far as quality. Um, I also like Trader Joe's. That's also a good one. But today, I just felt like I needed to come and show you. Um, come on my channel. That, and then <laughs> come back to my channel that I haven't visited in a while. And um, we and give you some ideas about different vegan and vegetarian things that you can get from Whole Foods. Now, um, I'll tell you how much I spent at the end of the video, but um, I have two small children, a three-year-old and a five-year-old, and they eat meat With sometimes, which here, so. tends to just be go. chicken and turkey, and then they also um, like eggs, so we do that sometimes. I just love bok choy. Um, so I found this bok choy there, and basically with this, what I'm going to do is just um, chop it up and steam it. I have like a vegetable steamer, we'll steam it in there, and then we'll have like some vegetables, we'll have some, um, some brown rice and like some lentils with this, um, and I might use like a salsa for like seasoning. Um, so we got that, let me put stuff back in the bag. As I'm done talking about because I have to uh, clean my refrigerator out and move some stuff around before I put this stuff in there. But my table is clean, so we don't have to worry about that. Got my, got my queen scarf on today. I love wearing big scarves, so we'll just put you down a little bit. Okay, so one thing that I got that I usually don't get, but this was on sale. It's a value pack of white chicken meat sticks they're called kid fresh and i just get them for my kids because like i don't eat meat anymore but my kids do and i don't think it will hurt to give it to them sometimes their diet is mostly organic vegetables and fruits so sometimes i give them some chicken but um, really we are trying to move them away from eating chicken. Well, I'm trying to move them away from eating chicken and other meats just because I don't eat it, so why would I keep feeding it to them? Um, so we got that. That was like $4 or something. Um, and then this, th these are a little bit, getting a little bit dry, but this is like the green of your life. And um, Chef Aki told um, told us about this in one of her interviews and she talked about how healing and how um, just these greens are just beautiful so they're dandelion greens and basically what I'll do with this this will make about maybe like 16 ounces of juice along with like my uh, ginger and my lemon and all the other things I'll put in there but I'll make a juice out of this in my Breville um, cold juicer and that will be, I, I usually only try to make like one of these and then I'll make my juice um, with beets and carrots and other things so that I don't have to um, waste any juice. Like I want to have it fresh. So we got that. Also got some curly parsley. Look how pretty. Guys, look how pretty. Like I love shopping at Target for that reason. But these are a little bit... Um, they're not as crisp as I would like them to be. So basically what I'm going to do with this is like put this in the juicer. And this helps your body absorb minerals a lot better. Um, I hope you can hear me. But that lets your body absorb minerals a lot better. So um, we got that. Then we got some cilantro. It was all like messed up. But hey, I'm not going to let it go to waste. It was only $1.50 for organic cilantro. Like this much cilantro was a dollar and fifty cents so I will definitely take that no problem at all and I'll just wash these all this stuff needs to be washed as we know so I'm not gonna um, be too particular about it now for the kids we got broccoli um, broccoli is a hybrid vegetable so it's really not the healthiest for people who have certain digestive issues and things like that. I know it's typically known as being a healthy food, but it does have a lot of acid in it, and it is a hybrid uh, vegetable, so it's not 100% natural. But my children are obsessed with broccoli. It does have a lot of vitamins, and it's better on their stomach than it is on mine, so I give this to them. So we got broccoli. 
got broccoli. Um, all right, I got these. I want to try these. And I want to do like a little video sh telling you how they are. But they're the Hillary's uh, Original Spicy Vegetable Meatless Breakfast Sausages. And you don't want to eat too many processed foods. But every once in a while, it's good to have this. You could just chop this up and put it into like some rice or put it on the side of like your breakfast that you're eating. But these are plant-based. Plant based, so and these were like three dollars, not too bad. I haven't seen that brand before. Okay, so we got two lemons, or lemons are very, very important for your health. So we got two organic lemons, and they say it doesn't matter, but I've seen that organic lemons are more, um, they're more fresh, they have more minerals in it, and they're just better for you. So I got also um, a pitaya, a yellow pitaya or dragon fruit. And this, I will be trying this for the first time. I've never tried this. So this was probably like two, three dollars. I mean, instead of like giving your kids some candy, you can just give them a piece of this and there you go. And I'll give my kids pieces of fruit all the time whenever they beg for sugar because you don't want to get them addicted to that sugar rush of every time they want to snack, they have that really harsh rush of like sugar and blood because now their blood is pumping and there is just not natural so give that to them um also these kiwis organic kiwis like they love kiwis um we do kiwis in our smoothies and these kiwis will be just eaten as a snack basically so yeah we did that also another thing that they always want is these i have to do my research on these to see like what they're how they are as far as um, the vitamins that they have in them but they are organic sun gold kiwis and they are so good this is better than any lifesaver jolly rancher any sweet candy treat that you like to eat this is better than that it is so juicy and delicious they seem to be in season right now so we got some of those this is probably like four dollars okay so I got two limes because you know me, got my limes, got my tomatoes. I'm going to be making my um, pico de gallo. And it's so healthy for you. Lime juice, um, a little bit of salt, some garlic. Um, and then we also have, um, we also have the, our jalapenos. So we'll be doing, these are organic jalapenos. And these are really good for your um, body really good for your blood it's a healthy spice so we put some of those fresh in there just chop them up really finely and leave them there I'm gonna put this in there. okay so one thing that I would suggest if you have children is to get them on avocados I bought three avocados because I'm gonna make some guacamole from scratch basically I just use um, there's a video on my uh, channel that you can watch, but I just use like basic ingredients, lime, salt, onions, garlic, and um, cilantro. And that's how I make my guacamole. It is so good. Uh, so we do that. We got to have those. And for those, we'll be eating these chips. I dug into these a little bit, as you can see, because I got some pico de gallo from Whole Foods as well. That was $4, but that was all within the budget of what I spent. And so then I got these. I like the blue corn because there's more vitamins in it. So I get the blue corn instead of just the yellow corn. And then um, I got organic. These are like $2.75. Okay. Always. I'm addicted to this stuff. Yes. Sparkling water. I'm going to open it. Yes, I got this beautiful spring onion. It's organic. And I'm going to use this for my... Hold on a second. I'm going to use this for my pico de gallo and for my guacamole as well. So, that is good. I usually did... I used to hate onions, but now I like onions. But just very small, small pieces are cooked. Then, the piece de resistance. Beef. Guys, I know people think that beets are like for older people who um, 
just eat boiled beets and it's not really a popular thing for uh, kids either to eat. Kids usually typically are turned off by beets, but these will make some of the most beautiful juice that you will ever have. You can trick your kids into drinking beet juice by mixing it with apple juice, like put some strawberries in there. You could add like some pineapple. Pineapple and beet juice is bomb. So <laughs> get you some beets and then it cleans your system. Like if you have a urinary tract infection, I would suggest that you would drink beet juice. You should drink beet juice over um, over cranberry juice because it's less sugar content and it clears out your system better but uh, you can talk to your doctor about that one but I love beet juice this is just this is gonna last me this is gonna be a lot of juice so what I'll probably do is mix this with um, the dandelion greens that I got and the ginger I also have a beautiful piece of ginger that I got from the food co-op and I'll be using that in my juice as well so Oh, then bananas. Whole Foods has some of the best bananas, y'all, like I'm telling you. They're so sweet, and it really does matter where you, what you, where you get your bananas from. I've tasted that different stores that say that their bananas are organic, you can taste that the flavor is just not there. They're very bland, they're very dry, and, but Whole Foods, you will not be disappointed with their bananas. I know it sounds weird picking bananas, but I'm telling you. Don't waste your money on dry bananas. So, another thing that we got is just some Tom's Botanically Bright fluoride free toothpaste. We're going to try that. And then I also um, use Listerine and different things um, to get my teeth extra clean because I still mentally kind of feel like it's not strong enough um, because it doesn't have the fluoride in it. But this is what we're going to try. This was only $4, it was on sale. Okay, and then these, we are addicted to these. These are the seaweed. Seaweed is very good for you. Um, it's better to eat seaweed without salt on it and, and different things, but well, these are bomb. If you want a snack for like the movies or something, get some of these. These are bomb. And it just has like seaweed oil, teriyaki powder, tamari, soy sauce, um, garlic, soybeans, a little bit of cane sugar, and things like that so I'm gonna give these to my son because I had one and now he gets this one because he is obsessed with these as well so I like him to eat those okay so we only have two more things all right guys this is called rind keep it real keep it pill <laughs> keep it real eat the pill orchard blend skin on super fruit snack should I try one I'm really excited. Oh, I know. This is what they look like. They smell like raisins. Let me try. I think this is the peach. Let's try the peach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. The peach is bomb, but the apple tastes a little, it tastes a little like the package that it's in. It says grown and dried with pride in the USA, chewy slices of dried per sweet persimmon, tart apple and tangy peach. Good idea. Can't fault them for a good idea, but. We'll have to like chop that up and like put it over some oatmeal or chop it up, put it over some vegan yogurt. But this this part, this part's pretty good. So got those. 
And now for the bad stuff. I got my kids some cereal. Two boxes. Because we already have the milk. And when they wake up late for school. Just got some honey cornflakes for my baby boy. And some cheetah chomps for my little girl. These are organic cereals. There are no artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives, and they are gluten-free. So, see how that goes. Guys, thank you for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I will be making more videos. Um, I actually have a video that I'm going to be doing about a book. And that will be coming up very soon. I will be posting that on my channel. And you'll be able to get some new ideas about what you should read. Because right now it seems like it's the time to read. Everybody needs to get a book because there's not much else to do. Um, tonight I'm going to be actually making this butternut squash that I got. I like to always see what the what the farm is. It was from Clarion Rivers River Organic. Living soils, healthy plants, and vibrant life. Sligo, Pennsylvania. So I'm going to be making something with this. I don't know what to make with it except for like a vegetarian spaghetti. I forgot to get mushrooms. Um, but I will be making that. Um, I'm excited, so I'm going to clean, put all this food away, and then work up to my other projects. Thank you very much for watching again, guys. Stay healthy. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.